Again, welcome to Public Health Geographic Information System, PH775. This lecture covers the course introduction. So first we will go through the course description. So this course will provide students with the knowledge of geographic information system and spatial analysis pertaining to public health. So here how public health is going to benefit from GIS. Also students will focus on the collection, maintenance, also interpretation of spatial data. A spatial data is a data that is related to a location, a geographical location. And also we are going to focus on a disease cross test, access to healthcare, risk factors, uh, emergency response operations. Also, we're going to have a hands-on exercise and tutorial in this course using the ArcGIS or the QGIS. These are the two GIS, again, software applications that can be used to, again, manipulate, manage, and also interpret a data set. The prerequest for this course is the PH660, which is the principles of biostatistics. And the course materials is GIS and public health second edition. And also we have a GIS tutorial textbook. And this textbook focuses on using the Hack GIS software. The course assessment, we are going to have bi-weekly assignment, which will be 10% of our final grade. We are also going to have three quizzes, which is 15% of our final grade. We're going to have one midterm exam, 20%, and also one final exam, 30%. Then we're also going to have a group project, which is 25% of our final grade. So this is an introductory GI course related to, again, health. So this course, again, will focus on using the GIS techniques, and we apply it to mostly epidemiological data sets. So again, GIS and healthcare course will help you understand the spatial techniques used in GIS and also health and some core theory concepts and background so that we can use GIS successfully. So how this course is going to help us, this course again will surely put us in a better position to meet our daily decision-making needs at work. Also, it will inspire us to start research in this subject. That's the research in GIS related to, again, epidemiological data set or public health in general. We're also going to learn some techniques on how to use a GIS software and apply it on public health data. So this is the course outcome. Uh, we're going to use the health data in GIS. Also, we're going to learn how to comprehend and intersections between GIS and public health. We are going to learn how to produce maps showing health data and also how to apply multiple geospatial techniques. We're also going to analyze the healthcare data spatially and also how to visualize health data. So in this course, we need a computer since we are taking this course online, a laptop or a notebook is fine or desktop computer. Uh, we need internet connection because again, GIS uh, software we are going to use. And also this course will be online. So, so the software we are going to use is the ArcGIS, which we have to get from the school. But we're also going to use QGIS a lot because this is an open source uh, uh, system and also it's free. We can download it online for free. So we will get access to QGIS very quickly. And either you are using Windows or Mac or Linux, uh, QGIS is fine. It can run on the three major operating systems. So what is the course content? So the first thing, lecture number one, we are going to learn and also understand the foundations of GIS in the context of public health. Then we are going to do a lab work. And this lab work, we are going to use the GIS 
to remap Jon Snow's data. We're also going to learn the foundations of GIS, then working with data in GIS environment using the QGIS software. We're also going to learn how to manipulate data or data manipulation concepts. And each lecture, we are going to have a lab work. So the tutorial one, two, three, et cetera, these are the hands-on lab work using GIS software. Either we're going to use the QGIS or the ArcGIS. So also we shall learn how to represent health data and collection and also management of health data, how to visualize the health data also. And we are going to learn how to design maps, also share and publish maps and web GIS. We're also going to learn how to perform spatial analysis. Uh, we will learn the classification and also cross-storing concepts to analyze the spatial data. And then we are going to do a hands-on how to create a heat map and clusters. We're also going to learn how to create space-time modeling. And we're going to wrap up with the course again with our final project in the course. So the final project again will be a hands-on project. So that will be the conclusion for the introduction. Our main focus on the introduction here is the, uh, the objective of the course, the course again, assessment, the grading, and also the content of the course. This course will be both hands-on and also lectures. So again, see you in our first lecture soon. Thank you.